to this hour we worship you. Babogo sekatabari karababa. Mazi katarabari koto shokotobo. God bless you, everyone. Today is another day. We are getting closer to the end of our fast. But we will continue to pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le brogo shakataba. Le bagasi koto bobobo. Reba mama ma shikataba shikataba. Oh yes, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a great God we worship. Can we just share this on our wall? Invite your friends and families. Let's have a great time. In the presence of God, the Bible says there is fullness of joy. At the right hand of the Father, there are pleasures forevermore. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We exalt, we magnify you. We give you all glory and adoration. Have your way, O Lord. Have your way, Father. Let's just do justice to the word of God. Appreciate him. Thank him. Every time we gather in the presence of God, is always our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So today we bring the same word unto the Lord. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Thy will be done in our lives. Thy will be done in our ministries, in our businesses, in our families. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Let your name be glorified, O Lord, we worship you. We exalt for who you are, who you represent, and who you will always be. Have your way, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to thank him today. The Lord shall open his face to shine upon you and give you all that you need to take you to the next dimension. The Lord shall bring you to the pinnacle of life. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. Labogo sokotobo rikara bababa. Mazeketere barikara bashikotobo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be thy holy name, O Lord, for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you so far for how far we have gone in this journey that we have been waiting upon you. The Bible said that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Today is a new day, a new life, a new time of possibilities. That we are gathered in your presence. There is none like you. There is none that is compared unto you. Hallelujah. Generations will come and go. But you are God that remained the same. You can't change. You are the unchangeable changer. We come to you this hour with a broken and a contrite heart, with the humility of heart that you look on us with your mercy. Let your kingdom come in our lives. Let your will be done as it is in heaven. Lord, this is a declaration of war. We ask the Lord, Father, that you take absolute control of our lives. Saturate our heart and our minds with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood that speak better things than the blood of Abel, let it begin to speak in our lives joy, peace, love, transformation. Let the blood speak life. Let the blood speak power. Let it speak wealth. Let the blood speak the grace of God. For the Bible says we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, but for my sake and your sake, he became poor. That we through his poverty shall become wealthy. Today we ask that the grace of God be, be found in us in everything. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all that you do and continue to do. There is none like you. There is none that will be compared unto you. Generations will come and go, but you are God. You remain the same. Oh, Labaga Sikata Bababa. Riko Torobo Rikara Bababa. Magida Rabalika Namashikotobo. Just begin to saturate him. Let the presence of God come upon you right now. The word say, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At the right hand of the Father, there are pleasures forevermore. Lord, we commit our spirit, our souls, and our bodies unto thy hand. May you come and hear us this hour. Do not look on us with your anger, but in everything have mercy. We ask for the power of mercy, the grace of God to be upon us today. Saturate us, cleanse us, and we shall be worthy of thy praises. That the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart shall be acceptable in thy sight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right now, we overthrow every power in us and we begin to ask for the mantle and the garment of favor 
let it be upon us. Let the garment of favor come, come upon us. Hallelujah. Le brogo sokotobo rikarababa. Makataraba shikotobo. Likanamali kanama shikotobo bobo. Rikataraba likanaba. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. For it is done now. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says you are mightier than the mightiest. You are greater than the greatest. You are the unchangeable changer. Alpha and Omega. Omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience God. The God that has all power and all ability in him. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not be dragged to the mud. You got the whole world in your head. Out of nothing, you created the heavens and the earth. You are God all by yourself. We thank you for this opportunity to come into you again, to come in your presence, to share your word, to speak in your office, to be, all of us, who you have called us to be. Blessed be the holy name, O Lord. Lebrogo sakata bababa. Magidara bali shikotobo. Alpha and Omega, we worship you. The Bible says, Likereba lakata shikotobo bobo. That a son shall be born and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Today, we thank you for being with us. You are the God that is with us. The God that cannot change. The God that always appear when we call you once. You answer many times. You are that God that is in us. The Bible says, for in, in you we live, move, and have our being. Acts 17, 28. You are that God that is a deliverer. You are the God that can help us. You are our helper. The Bible says, when we call you once, you answer multiple times. In the book of Jeremiah 33, verse 3, you say, call upon me. I will answer and show you great and mighty things. As we call upon you today, answer us and show us great and mighty things. Lord, make a name for yourself that there shall not be any other power or force that can hinder us. Make a name for yourself in our ministries and businesses and jobs and family. Make a name for yourself right now by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God that delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt for after 470 years. By your mighty hand, you brought them out. You are the God that helped Moses and Aaron to carry the children of Israel through the wilderness onto the promised land. You are the same God that created the heavens and the earth. Today we are calling you for we know that you can do all things. And without you, there is nothing that will be done that is done. Come and be with us today. Show yourself, all of us, mighty in us. For you are a mighty warrior. You are a great provider. We give you all exaltation. We give you all glory. We worship you. We thank you for this hour for you have shown yourself. And you will be with us. Give us the garment of praise. Put it upon us today. Lakotorobo sakata bababa. Magede rebali kanama shikata bababa. Lakitara ba sokoto bobobo. Likanama likara ba shikata bababa. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefit. Lord, today as we gather again, Lord, you are God. Show yourself mighty in us. The word says, quicken us and we shall call upon thy name. This is an hour that you quicken our spirit man. Our soul is longing for you. Quicken us, O Lord, that we shall call upon thy name. Quicken us and we shall do thy will. Quicken us, O Lord, Father, and we shall stand in thy presence. For the word says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand, O Lord, there are pleasures forevermore. Thank you, Jesus, for being God. Thank you for being out there. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for having patience in us, for leading us in the path that we go. Thank you, O Lord, Father, for not forsaking us, not allowing us to fall off the cliff. Thank you for we come to you today. God bless you, man of God. We worship you all that are connected. Let God arise. The Bible says, let all his enemies be scattered. Today, every enemy of our lives, every enemy of our ministries, every enemy that will stand against us, Lord, they shall scatter. For the word says, there is no weapon that is fashioned against us that shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against us, we condemn right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, Lord. We bless you. Bless the Lord. Let the power of God begin to cover where you are now. We saturate our atmosphere. 
O Lord Father, with the blood of Jesus. We invoke the mystery of the blood. Let the power in the blood, the power of the blood begin to cover us. Help us today to get to the finish line. We ask for the mantle of favor to be released. Everyone that is sick right now, or you have somebody in your family that you want us to pray for, I pray for divine healing from the crowns of your head to the sole of your foot with the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray right now by the power and the authority. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Wherever you are, are you having pains in the arms? Are you having pains in your shoulders, at your spine, on your waist? Every pain in your knee, even down to your ankle, on your feet. We pray that the power of God shall touch you right now. Receive divine healing. The Bible says, Jesus said to the 12 in Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. And he gave them power against unclean spirit to heal all manner of sicknesses and diseases. Receive divine healing right now. In verse 8 of Matthew 10, he said, heal the sick, cleanse the leper. We ask that every uncleanness in you right now, the Lord shall cleanse you from the crowns of your heads to the soles of your foot by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you have already received healing right now, you will begin to walk in divine health. You shall not be sick anymore. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to go straight to the word. As we pray, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23, the word said, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted God with us. God with us. Is God with you today? The word said that the entrance of the word bringeth light and understanding to the simple. Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet. Let the word that we are hearing and speaking and the one we pray with not be an enticing word of a man, but let it be the word of God that we bring glory to thy holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says, Emmanuel, which is being interpreted, God with us. God with us. Oh, la ba 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 ba. God with us. Right now, we believe that God is with us. I don't know if you agree with me, but the Bible said that God is with us. First John chapter 4, verse 4. You are God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are God, little children, and have overcome them because what greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God is with us. So God is in you. Receive it now. We are not calling the God that is coming from somewhere. He has already come and we have received him. So God is dwelling in us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Godhead, the Trinity is the domicile in you. Until you begin to understand that ability and capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ. First King chapter 18. God will begin to give you speed today. It's a dimension of grace that we begin to walk into. Many of you today that are hearing the sound of my voice, we are talking about, about a mantle, mantle of favor. Receive it now. A man called a prophet. Elijah made a declaration that there should be no rain and there was no rain. And he was the same man that went back and said rain should come down and rain came. Even though there was no, the atmosphere does not look like it. In 1 Kings 18, if you look at verse 44, the Bible says it came to pass at the seventh time when he has told his servant, say, go look at the wind. The servant went and came back and said, I didn't see nothing. But before then, he has told him, say, go tell the king. Tell the king, for I hear the sound of abundance that he should prepare himself in verse 45. And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with cloud and wind. And there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and ran. Hallelujah. The king began to run on a chariot. But the hand of God, that is the speed God is giving you this year. And the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah in verse 46, 1 King 18, 46. And he guided up his loin and he ran before Ahab 
to the entrance of Israel. Everyone that have gone ahead of you, let the hand of God begin to carry you right now. Let the hand of God carry you and run you to the end of the, the, the race. The Bible says the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong, nor yet bread to men of skill, nor wisdom and riches to men of understanding. But time and chance opportunities happens to them all. Today, this is your time. The hand of the Lord guided Elijah and he ran out from the king. The king was on a chariot. He had security. He had everything. In fact, before Elijah could have come down to the mountain, the king could have reached the gate. But because this is a supernatural thing today, let there be a supernatural ability and lift that is coming upon you that will carry you by the hand of the Lord. You shall be carried to the finish line today. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Labaga Sikataba, as we have set in the year, the year will not end without you accomplishing what God has desired for you. But you just have to be a man of vision. Elijah saw that the rain will come before he spoke. So when his servant went and looked and did not see anything, the man of God said, don't come to me until seven times. And as the guy continued to go on the seventh time, he said, I saw a little cloud. Today, I want you to be a man of vision. Habakkuk chapter 2. Verse 2, the Bible says, And the Lord answered and said unto me, Write the vision and make it plain upon the table, that he may run that readeth it. Today, you will be a visionary. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. I don't know what you have seen, but it's time to put them in a tablet. Write it down in some way. Save it in your mind. If God has given you revelation or you have heard a word from God this year, this is your year. He said, write the vision and make it plain. Write it down somewhere. It is time to begin to document things. It is time to begin to make record of things because you will start to see them happen in your life. And you can reference back to the time that God gave you that. The Bible says the vision is for an appointed time. There is what is, there are two times in every prophecy. Everything happened twice in life. Man was created in in the spirit and man was formed in the physical when god gives you a word there is the word will come to you in the anointed time but when the word is is manifested it manifests in the appointed time so there are two times in every prophecy in everything there's an anointed time when it is received or conceived then when you are when it's visible when you can feel it touch it when you can see it it happens in the appointed time your appointed time has come today so when the vision was given to the prophet god said yet it is for an appointed time so the day he conceived the vision it was the anointed time receive your vision today that your eyes of understanding begin to be enlightened by the power and the authority in the name of jesus christ oh this year you must you must wear the garment of the garment of favor. You must. I say you cannot be under this aura, this anointing, and go back the same way this year. You shall prosper beyond measure. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not in your own understanding. And if you look at verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Trust in the Lord. This is a year that you depend on the Lord. The Bible said, God gave us a word this year in Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. He said, forget you the former things and neither consider the things of the old, for I will do a new thing. In verse 19. Now it shall spring forth. So God said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and learn not, lean not on your own understanding. Don't depend on your knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Don't ever depend on your eloquence, your certificate, you are specialist, your family name, your name, whatever it is that has carried you over these years. This time, it is not going to be those ways. God say, I'm going to make a new thing. Do you have to depend on God? The Bible says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Begin to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, I will acknowledge you. I will depend on you. That you, I lean upon you today and direct my path in everywhere I go. Begin to direct my path, oh Holy Spirit. Father, direct my path right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Proverbs 24, verse 27. I don't know if we can fit all this in one section, but I'm going to try. 
The Bible said in Proverbs 24, 27, prepare thy works without and make it fit for thyself in the field. And afterward, build thy house. Prepare is begin to make arrangements for things. Begin to budget. Because there are many things you are going to build this year. Many of you are going to build houses. You will buy houses. You will build businesses. Many of you are going to relationships. Marriage is involved. You must count the cost. Prepare thy works. Proverbs 24, 27. And make it fit for thyself. There's a way they put it in English. Cut the coat according to your size. But I put it this way. Cut the coat according to your, your cloth. According to the money you have. Make it fit for thyself in the field and afterward build thy house. Once you have counted the cost, then you can begin to build. Luke chapter 14, 28. He said, for which of you intending to build a tower, Jesus was saying, seated not down first and counted the cost, whether you have sufficient to finish it. Today, the cost is not in us, it's in God. As long as God has given you the vision, our job is to do visibilities and begin to put things in order. Once you have put all of them together, you bring it and say, God, the cost is a million dollars, two million, three million. This is the project. Don't look at your bank account. Look at the God that you serve. Because many times we want to measure our God based on our financial capacity. If you do that, you cannot be able to achieve anything. You have to depend on the account of God, but you must be a, 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 a very good steward that bring account. You must be a one. The Bible says it is required of every steward. First Corinthians 4, 2. To be faithful. You must give account. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are talking about garment of, of favor. The mantle of favor. That is what God is going to give you today. Isaiah 54, verse 2. Enlarge thy place of thy tent. Begin to see expansion in your ministries and businesses. See expansion in your family. Some of you, you don't have a child yet. Begin to make arrangements for a child to come into your family or two children. This year is possible. The Bible says, enlarge the place of thy tent. Begin to see your business expand. Your job. Begin to see yourself promoted. See yourself any more money. Enlarge the place of thy tent. Isaiah 54 verse 2. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spread not. The Bible says, don't even spare anything. Don't try to be conservative this time. You have to be very, very liberal. Give yourself more room. Lengthen thy cord. God said, expand it and strengthen thy stake. Your stake should not be small this time. It's time to make it go big. I'm telling you, you have to see it. Because if you can't see well, you cannot get well. Receive it now. By the power and the authority, in the name of Jesus Christ, Enlarge the place of thy tent. We are talking about the mantle of favor. Favor shall locate you this year. You will walk by grace. The grace of God will carry you. And everywhere you go, you shall be favored by men. But you must begin to see bigger. You must begin to see better. You must begin to see exceptionally. You must begin to see excellently. You must begin to see the way God looks at things. The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Never you say you are weak. And let the poor say, I am rich. You have to say what God is saying. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is out there in the world. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So begin to enlarge your place now. Enlarge thy place of thy tent. Enlarge it and let them stretch forth out the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not. The Bible says, don't be conservative this time. It's time to be, 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 be very, very uh, liberal. Be, begin to expand. Begin to be become very, very abundantly. Expand yourself. The Bible says, lent thy cord. Lent thy cord and strengthen thy stake. Because God is about to rain abundance unto you. I say, I hear the sound of abundance. Oh Lord, if somebody is hearing me, you got to say amen to this. I hear the sound of abundance. The spirit of abundance is being poured upon you right now. And you shall carry it. You shall receive it. Matthew chapter 18, if you look at verse 19 and 20, God say, again, I say unto you, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done to them of my Father, which is in heaven. So, 
we are more than two we are more than three i want you to agree the first agreement is with yourself that is what we call the power of agreement once you agree with yourself then you are, you have the ability to fulfill those things if two of you shall agree on earth we are not in heaven yet agree with the spirit of god that is in you agree with the god that is in you agree with the father that is in you the bible says god is with us emmanuel there is emmanuel speaking inside of you you have to agree if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven he said for where two or three are gathered in my name oh labaga sikataba rabo gugu sukotobo there is power in unity. There is power in gathering. The Bible said, in unity, the Lord commands his blessings. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba Baba. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Reko Robo Baba. Judges chapter 6, verse 13. The Bible says, And Gideon said unto him, Oh, of my Lord, if thou be with us, God is with you already. If thou be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all the miracles which our fathers told us of, of saying, Did not the Lord bring us? up from Egypt. But now the Lord had forsaken us and had delivered us into the hands of the Midian. No, let me tell you something. God is with you. And when he said that, the angel of God smacked him back and said, Can my Hikorobo go in this might? For thou shalt deliver Israel out of this, the land of the, the Midianite. And the Lord looked upon him and asked, Go in thy might. There is a might in you. Go in that might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the media. Have I not sent you? Some of you are looking for a Messiah to come from somewhere. You are saying, God, when are you going to send a man to me? When will you send that woman? God is saying, go with that might. You already identified the problem. I have prepared you for that challenge. I have prepared you to be the one to win. Today, you have to go with that might. You cannot wait longer. You are not waiting longer. It is time to go with the might of God. Are you ready to go? The man of God, Gideon, was trying to complain of what they have experienced in a foreign land, in the hand of the Midianite. And God said, well, it is time for you to go. And that is when he began to say, no, 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 I can't. He began to say, no, no, I'm small. In verse 15. And he said unto him, oh my God, where shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor. God didn't ask you how much you have before he gives you the, the project that he wants you to build. God didn't care whether you don't have money in your account. You might be homeless now, but God is about to give you a mansion. I say, understand that God does not count your money before he tells you what he's doing. And the guy was saying, look, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the, the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianite as one man. God said, I'm going to turn you to an army. Today, receive it. Receive it, receive it. La bogo sekete baba ba, prakoto robo shekete baba ba, makita raba sikoto bobo. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In fact, let's move forward. Time, time, time will not permit me to go deeper with Gideon and the angel of the Lord. But something is about to happen right now. Oh, la bogo sakata baba ba. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. The Bible says, My little children, of whom I travailed in breath again, until Christ be formed in you. You have to continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to stay with God, until the condition is until Christ is formed in you. Are you ready to go the miles? Until Christ is formed in you. You must wear the garment, the mantle of favor this year. My children of whom I have travailed in bed again, Paul wrote to the Church of Galatians, until Christ be formed in you. La Bagasika Taba, this year, you must carry Christ. You must wear him like a robe. You must appear like Christ. For the Bible says, when we shall see him, we shall be as him. Hallelujah. Christ in me. 
the hope of glory until Christ is formed in you. You must come out today, swinging, come out in the grace of God, come out manifesting the power. We, the talk is cheap. It's time for the children of God to manifest. If you are a son of God, it's time for you to manifest. The Bible says, Romans chapter 8, verse 19, for the earnest expectations of creation are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. We have been talking about what God can do and what God is doing for a long time. It's time for God to do it in your generation. And God is going to do it through you. You will not just tell us the story of what God did in yesterday with our ancestors, but what God has done today in you. John chapter 8, verse 44. Jesus was saying, ye are of your fathers, the devil, and the lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, that's the devil, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of all. Never you believe what the devil say about you. The Bible, Jesus said he's a liar. So are you going to believe the liar? Are you going to believe God? Whose report are you believing? But I want you to know that favor is your name. I want you to say favor is my name. This is a year that I will be favored by men. Grace and power shall be manifested in you. In the book of First Samuel chapter 10, if we read from verse 1, the Bible said, then Samuel took a veil of oil and poured it upon his head. This is Saul. The king to be now. By this time, he was not yet king. But an oil is coming upon him. Somebody is receiving an oil this year. The oil of blessings. The mantle of favor. And Samuel took the veil of oil and poured upon him his head and kissed him and said, it is not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance. Verse 2. And thou art departed from me today. Then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre. Rachel was the mother of Benjamin, and Paul was a Benjamite. You see how Rachel was quoted here. You know, Rachel was cut out of the blessings of Jacob because of idol worship. She stole idol, and she lied about it. But God remembered Rachel, and God made a, a, a Benjamite the first king. And now Rachel was mentioned. Rachel has died a long time ago. Never even saw that life. But the Bible said, the prophet said, when you get to Rachel's sepulchre, where she was buried, in the border of Benjamin, that was the root of Saul, at Zelza, and they will say unto thee, the ass which thou wanted to seek are found, and lo, thy father had left the care of the ass and sorrow for you saying, what shall I do for my son? So what brought him to the prophet? God just wanted to connect Saul to the prophet. The ass was just a distraction to get him out of the house so he can meet with the man of God and his life will change. Today, many of you, you dangle into this message by, by omission or commission or you just came to hear what will he say today. But I'm telling you that you have contacted oil. The oil of favor and the garments of favor is upon you right now. Receive it in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. The Bible said, he told him that your father is looking for you. Men will say they are, they are looking for you. In verse 3, then shall thou go on foot from tents, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there you shall meet what? Three men going up to God, going up to God, to Bethel. These men were going somewhere, to Bethel. One carrying three kings, another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. But look at what happened, where the favor will begin to happen. This guy does not know this man, but something is about to happen in his life. I'm telling you, whatever you are hearing the sound of my voice, the, the, the mantle of favor is coming upon you right now. You must receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. In verse 4, and they will salute thee and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. Oh, La Bagasica, we are going to stop here. If you start to read it, it's going to be so much. But these are men that were going somewhere. Influential people will begin to bless you. This man has never met Saul before. Saul has never met them. But because he was coming from the house of Samuel, and an oil was upon him, that oil began to release favor. He began to be somebody that is being magnetized to favor that men will see him and give him gift. 
This man will just give him. They had three loaves of bread that they're supposed to eat. They gave him two. Receive favor today. Makatarabari karaba shokotobo. Le bagashi katababa. Makataraba si kataba. In the name of Jesus Christ. What about Esther? In the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 15. When all the girls came and they were fattening and preparing to meet with the king, to cut all the story short, Esther was fasting. She's waited upon the Lord. There is something about waiting upon the Lord. Like we have been waiting since the beginning of the year. When you wait, you renew your strength. The Bible says now when it was the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abigail, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go unto the king. She required nothing but what Higaya, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther, that is the key, obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon him, upon her today. Let the favor of God begin to come upon you. Every man or woman that will look upon you, they shall be attracted to the oil in your life. They will come to you with gifts. They will come with praises. They will come with salutation. Some will come with blessings. Some will come to adore you. Some will come to magnify the Lord in your life. Receive it. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all, all them. Not some. I'm telling you, everyone that will see you today, they shall see a reason to bless you. Even if they don't have, they, will, they have to go get it and give it to you. I say, let magnetic power. People will begin to connect you to jobs connect you to positions. People that have the ear of the king will begin to locate you today. As you live here today, you are going to be carrying the garment of favor by the power and the authority in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach in Jesus' mighty name. The month of, the whole remaining month of the year will favor you. I'm talking about from January to December. You shall be favored by men. You shall be favored in the spirit. Everything that is responsible on earth to bless men shall bless you. The earth shall bring forth for you. The he your heaven shall be open continually. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in Jesus mighty name we pray. Receive favor. I'm talking about the mantle of favor. It shall be upon you today. You will continue to be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. The Lord shall make himself mighty in you. You will be the head and not the tail. Oh, Let's go forward. Listen to me. This year is a year that you must remember. Genesis 39. We're talking about Joseph in the house of Potiphar. He was a property. He was bought with money. But when the man looked at him again, after a while, he discovered that this boy had something different. Genesis 39 verse 4. The Bible says, and Joseph found favor in, this, in his sight. Who? Potiphar, his master. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had, he put into his hand. Today, may you begin to find favor. Anywhere you are working, anywhere you are doing business, anywhere you are serving, let favor, the oil of garment, the oil of favor, the, the mantle of favor, let it begin to manifest in you. And Joseph found grace. Another word for favor is grace. And Joseph found grace and found favor in the sight of his master, Potiphar. And the Bible says, and he served him and he made him overseer. Today, you shall begin to oversee everything that is put in your care. They will give you absolute authority. You can enter as a, a security person. You can come from the lowest of the ladder and God is still going to take you to the highest of the highest. Even if you come to the bottom shelf, you will be on the top of the shelf. Whatever level you come in, your job is just to get in. When men look at you, they shall bless you. Women will bless you by the power and the authority. I receive that also. Your life will never be like a tree that has fruit and all the birds will come and eat from the fruit and poop on top of it. It used to be like that. I'm speaking to you. There's a man I'm looking at now. You have been a blessing to people. You have been a man, a, a great encourager. You have worked in big, big establishments. But when it's time for you to get to the Kedah, to the highest of the highest, they will 
come up with stories and it has to do with your education but today i want to tell you that you are climbing to the pinnacle oh like there's another lady also i'm hearing god now people will not poop on you they will not gather upon you and perch on you and take shade under you and leave without giving you a seed you shall be blessed today everywhere you have every plant what do i say every vineyard that you have planted you shall eat of every house you have built you shall live in what i'm saying is better africa you have to understand that the house can be a business relationship things will not die young in you anymore by the power and the authority the bible says, and joseph found grace and favor in the sight of potiphar and he served him and he made him overseer over his house and all that he had he put in his hand today let god begin to give you more responsibility but it will give you more grace and more ability by the power and the authority in the name of jesus christ revelation chapter 5 verse 12 bible says saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb yes the lamb is worthy that was slain to receive what power i say receive power right now and what riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings let all this come to you right now worthy 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 is the lamb that was slain but he has come to give us power receive the power of god and receive riches and wisdom and strength and honor and the glory of god and blessings right now by the power and the authority in the name of jesus christ oh i'm telling you i'm very excited today i'm very excited of what god has shown me for this year i'm looking at great abundance but you must be a visionary person you must write things down record things put things in perspective begin to make inquiries begin to go and look at houses price them know the cost of it you don't need to have money you don't need to have the credit that is where God will come in. He said, you shall never see wind nor rain, but the valley shall be filled with water. You will not see wind. You will not see rain. But rain is coming in. I hear the sound of abundance. You shall neither see rain nor wind. Begin to pray that prayer. Lord, I will not see wind nor rain, but the valley of my life shall be filled with water. Receive it now. By the authority and the power in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In the book of Psalm 112, verse 1, the Bible says, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandment. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Your generation shall be blessed all the days of your life. Today, wealth that people go out to look for shall be in your house. Wealth and riches, receive it, shall be in your house. I say from today, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, wealth and riches. Receive them. I receive wealth and riches. Let them come to my house today. I receive it in my storehouse. I receive it in my, in, in my bank account. I receive them. I receive it in our ministries. Wealth and riches. Everyone that is connected to this commission, let the blessings of God come and rest upon you. You shall be blessed in the morning, noon, and at night. Even while you are sleeping, the blessings of God shall overwhelm you. Your account will always be in green and black, never in red. Today, let the glory of God overwhelm you. Move in the abundance of the glory of God. Let the blessings of God follow you. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 11. The Bible said, Therefore thy gates, your gates shall be opened continually. I say the gate of your house, the gate of your blessings. I'm talking about your spiritual house. They shall not be shut. Your account, your account is open. Money will begin to swing into it. Thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. Then men may bring unto thee the forces of Gentiles. That their kings may be brought. The forces of the Gentiles. What is a force of the Gentiles? The Gentiles are the hidden, the unbelievers. The wealthy people, their forces is their resources. 
their power. The Bible says, men shall bring the forces of the Gentiles and their kings may be brought to you. Why? Because your gate shall be open continually. It shall neither be shut day or night. Your bank accounts are open. I say, as you are hearing the sound of my voice, let God begin to miraculously send you money, send you good jobs, send you blessings from heaven and earth, and also healing. Because the Bible says healing is also children's bread. In 3 John verse 2, the Bible says, I wish above all things that thou may prosper financially, be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Today, let the soul in your life begin to prosper in God. And let the kanama shikoto bobo bo. Let the health of God begin to come upon you from the crowns of your head to the sole of your foot. Receive divine healing right now. From every form of sickness or infirmity, you shall begin to walk in divine health. I, that is our portion this year. Divine health. You will not be sick. If you are already sick, healing is coming upon you. But once you are healed, you shall walk in divine health. We sh you shall walk in divine health. But I want you to know that your gates shall be open continually. Your heaven shall be open and your earth will begin to bring forth. Every land that you, you, are, you tread upon shall bless you. The Bible says, well, wherever the sole of your foot shall tread upon, I give to you for possession. Begin to possess the gates of your enemy by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. The forces of the Gentiles, their power, their strength shall be brought to you. Their kings also, their nobles, the politicians, the heavyweights, the influential people shall come to you. Receive it today. I receive it for myself and I bless it to you today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the husbandman also shall be the partaker. I'm telling you, these prayers I pray for you, I pray for myself also. Everything I've spoken, you will, you will have, I receive it then for myself. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I don't want you to see this as something that is out of order because I also pray for myself. Leviticus chapter 26. If you look at verse 9, we are going to pray this together. Hallelujah. Leviticus 26 verse 9. It says, for I will look on or you favorably. God say, you shall be what? Favored. I will look on you favor favorably and make you faithfully multiply you and confirm my covenant with you. There is a covenant we have with God. And in verse 10, Leviticus 26 we read verse 9, verse 10. It says, you shall eat the old harvest. Every harvest that you didn't receive, the ones that your ancestors did not receive, that was hanging in your family, every harvest in your bloodline that has not dropped, God said, you shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old, everything that is left in the store of the old, in the spirit, you shall eat it and clear it out because of the new, something new is coming. I told you this is a year of new things. I will set my time tabernacle among you verse 11 tabernacle is the presence of god the house of god the feast of god god is the tabernacle hallelujah jesus is when we're talking about feast the feast of the tabernacle is the father the feast of um, passover is christ and the feast of pentecost is the holy ghost so god said you shall eat the old harvest and clear out the old because there's something new coming verse 11 I will set what tabernacle among you. God said, I'm going to set my house in you and my soul shall not abhor you. But verse 12, and we are going to move forward. I will walk among you and be your God and you shall be what? My people. Say today, I am a son of God. I shall be God's people. But above all, I am looked on with favor. I shall be looked on favorably. I shall be looked on favorably. And God said he will make you faithful, multiply you, and confirm his covenant with you. Receive that grace right now. Receive it by the power and the authority. By the authority and the power in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We give you all glory and adoration. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Because of time, let's just move a little bit further and forward and faster also. First Chronicle chapter 12. God will begin to give you the gift of men. Say, Lord, I receive the gift of men. Give me the gift of men. When God gives you a name, the next thing God gives you is men. Men will begin to come to you from different places, of different race, of different categories, gender, 
they will come old, young, young, short, advanced, prosperous, poor, receive men. Because you will need all of them. First Chronicle chapter 12, verse 22. The Bible said in verse 22 of First Chronicle chapter 12, for at that day, time, day by day, the Bible said they came to David to help him. So man was coming to David day by day until it was a great army, like the army of God. Let men begin to come to you right now. Great men begin to come into your life. They shall come until they will form an army. And in verse 23, and these are the number of the bands that were ready armed to the war. And came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. Every enemy of your life, the men that will come into your life will help you to fight that battle. The Bible says the Lord shall fight your battles and you shall hold your peace. Let men, God will give you gift of men. Day by day, men were coming to David. Day by day, men and women were coming. The Bible said their number was about 400. They came to David and became the mighty men of David. By the time David became the king, he had 600 foot soldiers armed to the teeth. Trained men. Received the grace of men. Received the gift of men today. Oh, favor shall be magnetic in your life. You must have the mantle of favor this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. God told Abraham, as it is written, I have made the father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as even though they are. You are going to begin to mention things today. As you call them, they will appear. Things that do not appear, when you call them, they will appear. If you look at what the Bible said about Adam in Genesis chapter 2, verse 19 and 20, the Bible said, and out of the ground, the Lord formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he could call them. And whatsoever Adam called everything, every living creature, that was their name thereof. Begin to call things. Whatsoever you call it, call them. Begin to call your blessings, wherever they are. Call them forth. Adam was the one that designed his own prosperity. And whatsoever Adam called it, every living creature, that was the name thereof today. Everything you call, the life you will live, life of abundance, the life of grace and blessings. You shall be the head and not the tail. As you call upon them, you call men, they shall come. The Bible said in Isaiah 55, you shall call a nation that you know not. A nation that know you not shall come to you. Let nations begin to run to you right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Because of time, Job 42 verse 11, the Bible said, then came unto him his, all his brethren. This was Job after Job survived the affliction. I don't know where you have been and what has happened to you, but people that left you, they are coming back. The Bible said, then they came unto him, all his brethren and all his sisters and all there that had been in his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him and his, in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man, I want you to see, this is very, very important. Can you just read this with me? The last stanza there. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. Verse 12, so the Lord blessed the later end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep of, and 6,000 camels and a thousand yokes of oxen and a thousand she axes and he had also seven sons and three daughters receive the multiple blessings as god blessed job multiply everyone and that's where i'm going every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold today everyone that we see you will bless you it doesn't matter who they are, poor, middle class, wealthy, rich, receive the blessings of God. Everyone that saw Job and men that have left you, acquaintances, people have put on you, they have received blessings from you, they, and they have walked away of no cost. God said they are coming back. His brethren and all his sisters, 
which has been his acquaintance before. The Bible says they came and eat with him. Today, men are coming back. They share, they, the Bible says, unto thee shall the gathering of the people be. They are gathering around you again. Lakotorobo shakataba. Magidarabali kanamasi kotobo. Job chapter 5, verse 22. I want you to understand that God will begin to make covenant with you, even with the inanimate objects. The things of the earth, stones will begin to be in covenant with you. The beast of the field shall be in covenant with you because God has glorified you. Job 5.22, you will laugh at destruction and famine and need not fear the wild animals. You are not going to be afraid of any wild animal because what? Verse 23, for you have a covenant with the stones of the field and with the wild animals and the wild animals will be at peace with you. You have a covenant on earth. The, 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 the earth will res, res, respond to the altar that is in your life. The stone represents the altar. You have a covenant that is ignited with the blood of Jesus Christ. You will laugh in time of destruction and in time of famine. Receive it because you are favored today. Begin to carry the mantle, the mantle of favor. Let the oil and the, and the garment of favor come upon you right now by the power and the authority in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 1 verse 37. The Bible says, and when they had found him, this is Jesus Christ. Early in the morning, he went to the solitary place and began to pray. And he went and walked around and they began to look for him. The Bible says, and when they had found him, they said unto him, all men seek for thee. Today, let men begin to look for you everywhere. You shall be exceptional. Men shall sought for you. Women shall sought for you. Everywhere you go, you shall be sought for because you have what it takes. You have something that is not common. You have something that is different. You have something that is magnificent. You have something that is blessed, something that is graced. Wear the mantle of favor today. Let the garment of grace and favor come upon you. Men shall look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before we go, Second Chronicle chapter 26. The Bible, the Bible says in verse 15. I want you to say, help us come. Let my help us begin to come from everywhere. Help us. Many of you, your problem is that you don't have a help. The man that was at the, at the pool of Bethsaida, the Bible said he was there for 38 years because he has no man. Today, God will give you the gift of man. Second Chronicle 26 verse 15, Bible says, and he made in Jerusalem engineers invented by conies, men to be on the tower and upon the bulwark to shoot arrows and great stones with all. And his name spread far abroad for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. This is a king called Uzziah. The Bible says he was helped. Men came and helped him. Let men begin to come and help you. You will never lack help. The Bible says he had men, engineers, inventors. They were there. People that built towers. Some, some of them were at the bulwark. Soldiers that know how to shoot bow and arrow. People that carry stones. And his name spread abroad. Let your name begin to spread abroad today. The Lord shall garnish you with the mantle of favor. Favor shall become your new name this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify. We adore you for we know that you have done it. Oh, because of time, we have to go. Oh, labogo shakatabari karabababa. Magida rabali kanamasikotobo. Lakete barikataba shakataba. Prakotorobo sokotobo. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. On Sunday, I'm going to expand on this in the church service. But I want us to go by now. If you are here for the first time, I want to pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. If we confess the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our heart that he died for our sins, we shall be saved. So if you are here today or you are listening to me in retro, you are not saved. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus Christ. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that you died and resurrected for my sins. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Jesus Christ, come into my life. 
God bless you. I love you all with all my heart. But above all, Jesus loves you. Connect with this ministry. Connect with us and let us praise it together. God is going to make something happen. He said, if you are willing and obedient, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, you shall eat the good of the land. There is good everywhere. But you must be willing and obedient and God will give it to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a graced and favored life. Live in abundance from today. Begin to go forward. I speak unto you. The Bible says, and the Lord advanced Moses and Aaron and helped them throughout their journey in the wilderness. Today, the Lord shall advance your journey. You shall be helped. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you.